Now let's quickly talk about the concept of a local space versus a global space. A local space is a space that's relative to one object, while the global space is a space that's relative to the entire world. So for example, let's click on this player object, you can see that there is this we can see our handy handlebars over here with the arrows and if you pay attention you'll realize they are not they're they're a little bit tilted right so they are tilted because we have rotated this character a little bit right so if we keep doing that let's say if he's sort of leaning backwards like that when we look at our handle, our positioning tool, we see that the axes have rotated as well in its local space. Now this, these three directions are relative to this object itself. So when we go to another object, it's going to have a different set of directions. Now to, to see the world space or the global space for this character, you can click on this button here. Now it says loco and then you switch to global and then you can see that this object now has the, the handles now have the original direction. Y points upwards, X and Z. And when I click on another object, you can see that it's the same direction. They all point to the same directions. And that's because these handle, handles are pointing in the global space. So we're using them in the global space. And this is handy when you want to, let's say, I want to rotate this character this way. Then I can do that in a local space, but if I wanted to rotate it so sort of like around the up axis, then I'll change it back to the world space, the global space, and see that now Y is pointing upwards instead of pointing where his head is. And then I can rotate around the Y axis. So that's the difference between a local space and a global space. It might be a little bit confusing for now, and, and that's okay. Uh, once we get to uh, where it makes a difference, I'll explain this again and you'll see how it works in an actual development project.